Arthur Morris was Australia's number one opening batsman after the Second World War. He'd made his debut as an 18-year-old and he'd actually scored two centuries in his first match. Left-hander, plump, not athletic. He had a good eye and he knew more than a little about the art of batting. He played alongside Bradman and he didn't look a second rater. In fact, the pair of them won the Headingley Test with a superlative big partnership on that final day when 400 were needed. My favourite uh, Arthur Morris story, I think, is the 1948 Test at the Oval. People forget that Morris was the outstanding batsman of that tour, the Invincibles tour, making more runs even than Bradman. In the famous innings where Bradman was bowled by Eric Hollies for a duck and therefore didn't average 100 in Test match cricket, Morris was at the other end. And when people say to Morris, do you remember it? He said, I remember it. Where were you? He said, I was at the other end. Are you at the other end? Oh, did you make any? He says, 196. He was a little different from a lot of left-handers. Very compact and neat as you would expect. He hit a lot of balls back where they came from. He used the pace of the ball very well, deflecting a beautiful leg glancer or leg glider, perhaps they called it, the back cutter of the ball. And seemed to soak up quick bowling very easily. He played the ball very late. He had those beautifully soft hands. He could drop the ball down and run um, excellently between the wickets. Hundreds in both innings of his first class debut, so made a very instant impact on the first class game. Um, and is, is always thought of as being the complete left-handed opening batsman. And I suppose, had the war not intervened, his name would have been probably a household name. But anyone looking at his record will see that there was a prolific batsman, good to watch, not spectacular, but calm and well worked out. He was a thoughtful person and a very pleasant man.